Hi everyone, guess what? I've got some new tech. So the wildlife camera comes with the usual USB type charger cable and then there's a very heavy duty metal plate in here so IP66 waterproof 48 megapixel which there you go and as you can see it's captured me I wonder if I've caught anything else uh, yep yeah, squirrel just gone off screen I'll just reset it, auto record ready, it says we'll close it up and set it up for tonight. You can actually get this to match up with an app on your phone as well, so it can transmit the film. So a big shout out to One Leaf AI who supplied these to me. These are the Find NV200 binoculars. These guys film in 4K in full colour. They have a screen in the back and they also record after dark so it's got an infrared camera. Just press the power button on and then hopefully you can see the screen here. You'll see this boot up. You can zoom in and out using these two buttons here and then you've got the infrared side here. here there's a range finder. Uh, there's a whole lens fits onto that and I guess that's for hunting so you can actually work out the exact distance of the the beast or whatever it is you may be looking to stock. You see your SD card, two large batteries in there as well and then the other one on this side under my finger. So this is actually a power bank fixture. It fits on top of the binoculars. So it comes with a nice shoulder strap as well. You can also change this lens and there's a locking button here which releases it. There you go, that shows you the kind of picture in picture kind of setup. It also comes with a 64 gig memory card. I think that. So, thank you to Axel for sending me this sleeping mat and a pump to go with it as well. Actually, a pump come light. It's just very like the flex tail. In fact, it may well be flex tail. Press and hold, you get a light. And you get two different intensities, and you also get a red flashing light as well. Right, I'd say that's pretty much inflated now. My feet are at the bottom, I'm five foot eight. There you go guys, uh, how does that look? I don't know what that is, maybe about three inches deep or something. Oh yeah. So hi everybody, I'm at uh, Victoria Bridge at the back of Bridge of Orkey on the West Highland Way. And I've just brought the binoculars out to try them, just even get some shots of some deer, see how well they work. It's a shame it's raining outside, otherwise I wouldn't do it with my foot. So I've just been trying to film some deer over here, which hopefully I've given you some shots on the binoculars, so as you can get a look at it. I'm going to go and look for some deer elsewhere. So it'll be nice to use the MSR again and try it out, see how it's good at it for the two of us. There's some really um, squally winds coming through, and heavy rain showers. One thing I did notice is the rain tends to get driven up underneath the vent and a certain amount of light spray comes through the mesh. And that again goes back to why I'd like to be able to go and zip those vents up and seal them from the rain. So I've just spotted some deer way over on the trees to the right there. So I'm just going to see if I can see them and film them on the binoculars. Really hard to hold it still. Big difference in the river levels. Since I was here about three or four weeks ago on the search for Neil Skinner, this had almost dried out. Yeah, so I just spotted an eagle there possibly, but I couldn't get the binoculars on in time to film it for you. I'm heading in the direction of it in the hope that I can get it. And still keeping a scan out for deer and stags. But they, uh, it's the first day of the shooting season here. And we've spotted the landowner shooting and they've just left. So the chances are they've probably scared off any of the wildlife that I was. There's a stag sitting up there. Oh. 
So I think I managed to just catch the stag on camera there, which I'll put in, in the video if I did get it. That's then gone, I think, over the horizon. So they've disappeared. Time to move on again. So I'll zoom in on those waterfalls away in the distance there. Heading up the Monroe and see if I can get them on the binoculars. So hopefully that was successful. I managed to get a few grainy, shaky shots of uh, stags. The problem was I could never really get anywhere rock solid to put the tripod and the binoculars, so apologies if it's all a bit shaky. But the general principle seems to work there. They are good. The one thing I've got a problem with is the focusing. I find it hard to focus when you're looking at a digital screen as opposed to straight through a binocular lens. There goes the wee youngin. The wee youngin with his mum. Yeah, they're just everywhere, right in the car park as well, look. A spot for choice tonight, look. <laughs> Yaki soba chicken tonight. Straight from the Londis store. <laughs> so we've just been in for a couple of drams and then Veroren and we're going to head back to the tent now. Not going to get dark enough I think to use the infrared on the binoculars. It doesn't look like it is and it's still pretty wet so I don't think we'll be hanging about outside. So unfortunately I may not get that done tonight. It's been about a 31 mile an hour peak wind, um, probably average about 25 and the MSR pit time has done very well actually. Just a couple of uh, one week water leak and also not keen on the vent in terms of how the moisture gets through it. Just a quick word about the axle mat, uh, it actually worked out very comfortable overnight. Surprisingly, because it doesn't look very comfortable to me, but I didn't feel any cold coming through. There was no compression cold spots. The, despite the kind of large lumps on it, it actually worked out fine. I think they just compress and the air moves around between the cells. That was fine. The one thing I would say is a bad design is this. Although it's a nice idea to be able to pump it up with your feet, putting the valve in the middle of the pad where you actually pump it is just completely silly. So they should offset it and then you can use your foot properly. But yeah, other than that, it worked well. I'll put a wee link in the description below and let you know what the cost is and any discount link I'll put there as well. And one other thing just to say about the MSR, I measured the winds about 31 miles an hour. Uh, so yeah, it handled it well. It bows in a wee bit at the front here slightly. So it kind of impinges on the space a wee bit. The one thing I did notice was water ingress coming through the toggle here and dripping onto the ground sheet here. And the other thing I would say is they really want to change this vent system so you can either add in a solid, a more solid but breathable fabric or be able to zip it down somehow because wind driven rain was starting to spray moisture through into the vestibule. You can see what used to be Ian Fleming, the author of James Bond, his uh, country house 
which I think is what Skyfall was based on. Try and zoom in a wee bit for you. Let's go five times. There you go. So it's time to head down the road, get some lunch on the way. Thanks again for watching everybody. It's a goodbye from Glen Orkey and I hope you just enjoyed the wee deer reviews and overnight a wee bit of deer hunting and I will see you out there for the next one. Cheers, see you again soon.